The meanings get lost and the teachings get tossed and you don't know what you're gonna do next. Wait for the sun, but it never quite comes. Some kind of message comes through to you. Some kind of message comes through. And it's a telling you, love when you give. Cry when you have to, be who you must, that's a part of the plan. Await your arrival with simple survival. Someday we'll all understand. Someday we'll all understand. Little Dan Fogelberg, part of the plan. What a great song, what great lyrics. What great lyrics to live by. One day we will all understand. Anyways, I'm Laura T at Dream Deals 123 on eBay. I'm the Silver Owl Thrifter on YouTube. To talk about what sold, how much was profit, do a haul video, talk about what's going on in life, and all that good stuff. I made $30, $43 overnight. Let's break it down and see what was profit. You know what? I forgot to get my stuff. Holy cow. But you know what? Let me just walk around and get it. In the meantime, I'll show you a little bit of my room here. Now, I'm going to do a haul video. I mean, not a haul video, a home video tour. But I want to get the house more tidied up. Um, okay, what do I got here? Look at this. I have been thrifting. And I haven't put anything away. Because I am completely... My one shelf here. So we're going to move this into the bedroom and put another shelf there. Hi, Chelsea. All right. You know what? I'm going to just tell you guys what I sold. And uh, it's just too much here. Taking up too much time. I sold a something that I just listed the other day. If you're watching the haul video, it was a um, Walt Disney World... 50th anniversary. I know what I'll do. I'll just pull it up here and show you guys. I need to learn how to do split screens. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, I can't do it that way. I'll do it. All right, it's this 50th anniversary Walt Disney World. Uh, 50th anniversary spirit jersey, size extra small, gold, blue gold Mickey Mouse. Now, these, I, if you listen to the haul video, these prices were all over the place when I got home and did kind of thorough research. And I had it for $29.99 and somebody made me an offer of $20 and I took it because I just, um, I spent $10 on it. See that, that too. And I feel like I might have overpaid for it. So I just kind of wanted to get my money back and I made a little profit, very little profit. I made, uh, it sold for like $30 and I'm, no, it sold for 43 total. I think I had a pretty high, oh, $7.99 shipping. Uh, so like 20, four, sold for like 40 total and 16 profit because I paid $10 for it. And the other thing I sold in this one, I think I might be able to find because it's jewelry. I have all my jewelry in this little box. Uh, all right. This one is pretty easy to find. I'm oh, sorry about that. Okay, it is... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. It's, it looks like this, but it isn't this one. Okay, but let's just call it this one. It's one of these little bracelets with heads on. This one is actually my husband's uh, with his brothers. This is really, really old. 60 years old. Um, so that was free, and I've had that for years, and somebody uh, made me like a $7 offer. It was 13 total, and I'm walking away with 6 so I made 40, I got 43 here. I think that's a little high, but I'm just gonna keep it because I already added everything up. I made 542 gross and six, 43 gross for a total of 542 this year and 16 net for a total of 269 net. And so the margins on that weren't really good and that's because um, I just wanted to move that. And I hadn't had any sales. You know how it is when you have say no sales for like all day and then you get one offer. I just wanted to have a sale. Um, so that was good. Okay. So 
Oh my gosh, I'm so unprepared. I always think I'm gonna be prepared, I'm prepared. I get excited to do it, and then I just don't have it all done. And I'm just moving over here to get my stuff because I'm gonna do a haul video. I got quite a few things for a haul video. And I gotta then put this down. This, uh... Now where's my thingamajig? Oh my gosh, you guys. I know I'm gonna lose some people, please. This is not how it always is. Well, it kind of is. Now I'm looking for my little holder. All right, I'm gonna improvise. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. All right, I'm, oh, it's right on here. I am, it's like my glasses are on the top of my head. And, uh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> now, who you guys might like watching is Jen the reseller. Uh, I like her because she's, and I, I bet a lot of you are watching her. I was watching Shirley's World Vlog today, too, who you also should watch. Um, and she was talking about her, and uh, Jen does videos just about every day like me, and she's very uh, laid back and very much kind of like me with, you know, if you're making $2 on something, it's cool. And she's real. Uh, it's like real eBay with her. I mean, a lot of you guys are, and, and Shirley's is too, definitely. Um, I, I mean, it's like some, some people, some of the shows, I think, when they get so big, I don't know if it opens up opportunities i'm sure it does but like kaylee elaine has some kind of place she's sourcing that just seems fantastic and i know that um you know those people are hard to find and i'm sure that they will go with the big resellers because they know they're going to make their most money with that but boy um in reality well in reality it's not so bad out there in the thrift stores i had an interesting day yesterday and the day before and, uh, oh, I was looking for something, but I, I actually, I'm not going to do it because I haven't listed them yet. Okay, let us start. This, I went back and forth on. My husband came with me, and he's pretty getting pretty good at picking. He picked this out, and it's Knox Rose. It's Paisley. It's, I think, 2X. Yeah, Knox Rose, 2XL, beige, black, blouse, boho, long sleeve, V-neck, Paisley, peasant, and I have it listed for $14.99 and $5.99 shipping. I paid $5 for it. I think I priced it very competitively, but it's a 2XL. You know, I might raise that a little bit because the size, if it's a, a bigger size, I think you can add a couple of dollars to things. All right. I get it. I'm going to take care of this pile within the next couple of days. Our fridge broke. I'll get into that later. I don't remember this. So I know sometimes I say, I talk about something and then I get off on tangents and then I don't talk about it at all. So I'm sorry about that. <laughs> if you write in the comments, you said this, then I'll try to talk about it the next day. Okay, this is Wild Fox tie-dye hoodie. Extra large. I think that they had a fairly good sell-through rate. Um, I paid $5 for it and I've got it $19.99 and $7.99. Um, I mentioned the other day that hoodies, hoodies sell. Good hoodies. Hoodies are worth a look. You can make a lot of money. Here's a brand you may not have ever heard heard of. I've sold a couple of these. Sale to Sable. Oh, my son is calling. Paul's calling. Maybe he'll call my husband. But I can't talk. Uh <laughs> I'm doing my video. He'll be proud of me. My son is really into videos and stuff. Um, actually, he told me how to find SEO search engine optimization words. Um, and I should now have it in my head and tell you, but he gave me a link. Like, if I want my YouTube videos to go up, certain words will bring it to the top. So, and uh, I, I'm going to put that on there because I think you could do it for like eBay too, although uh, I'm not sure. Sale to Sable. It's got the dry cleaning tag on there, which I'll leave there because uh, it shows it's been cleaned and dry cleaned. Sale to Sable, color block, short sleeve, collared blue, bu collared buttoned ponte dress, size large. Very nautical looking. I need to put nautical in that title. And uh, this one had a good sell through rate. I'm selling it for $39.99. $7.99 shipping. Yeah, I'm going to change a few of the words here. 
all. I'm gonna wait to the end. I was getting a little discouraged. Uh, like both, I think I, this was two days of thrifting. And both days I was getting a little discouraged, but then at the end uh, of each day, I ended up finding some pretty nice things. This I got because it's Maeve, which is a good name, but I really love the style. And it's a medium, is it a medium? No, it's like, well, it's a six. It says a six, a more of a small. It's just a really cute halter dress with a tie back and beautiful coral color, tiered maxi. I think this will really be great for this spring and summer. And this particular dress had some sales and a fairly good sell through. I'm not, it's hard to say, you know, it had 80% sell through because it's just hard, you know what I mean? You know, it's like some, of, there were some of these that had sold, um, but you know, a lot of it has to do with sizes and everything else, but I just like the style. And uh, yeah, Anthropology Maeve, maxi dress women, size six, peach coral tiered sleeveless. And I have it for $39.99 and $7.99 shipping. And this is Chico's Paisley. And it's a two, and it's just, this one had sold too. There was several, none listed and a one or two sold. Chico's Slinky Knit she Sheath Paisley Dress Size 2 Bell Sleeve. Right, Bell Sleeve, I, I, I think this is Bell Sleeve. That's what I'm calling it. Ah, uh, ba 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 ba. Chico, yeah, Bell Sleeve Keyhole Stretch hole in the front and um you know when I do Chico some people put in like what the size is but I think pe I just put the number too because I think people who wear Chico's uh know that it's like I think a two is like a medium maybe I guess you could put medium in there if people were looking for a slinky dress it might come up but I I, I uh, what do you guys think Put both sizes. It can't hurt. I mean, it makes sense, really. Um, this one went back and forth with it, but I thought it was cute and it was, looked very comfortable. North style. Never bought it before in history. Um, paid. It was had the red tag, which was fifty percent off, so paid about three dollars for it. Yeah, several of these things I got. It's got big pockets. This is a small, but it looks very boxy and loose, like it could be a medium. It, something so north style women red leaf leaf i think it's a red leaf red leaf print okay three quarter sleeve the quarter sleeve is one of the most popular sleeve lengths and i like it too because when they're at the end sometimes when you're doing dishes they get wet so three quarter sleeves come casual dress small pockets comfort uh i paid three 19.99 6.99 this is something I found, and this is at that store that was is closing soon, so they weren't restocking. It was a red tag, so it was about a dollar. Gold's Gym, men's gold gym, vintage maroon, soft t-shirt, size medium. These prices were kind of all over the place too, but this one had sold, and it's vintage, so I have it for $24.99 and $4.99. You know, I, I think it will eventually sell. I paid a dollar, so almost passed on it but I was like let me just check it out I know I had heard that old gym t-shirts and were popular so we'll see what happens with that um okay this is the last one I've never found it before I was so excited because it happened like just when I was about to give up and I was like ah just look at one more thing The Ori, Vuori, Vuori, <laughs> size medium. Never found it before. Great shape. It's called, and I think it'd be pretty sure it's, I, I figured out they have a style number on there. So it's Viori Transit Jogger Men's Medium Technical Jogger. Oh, I don't need to have to jogger in there twice, do I? I can put black in there because I don't have that. Man, I. Well, I was doing this yesterday out of my house. I was at babysitting my granddaughter, my husband and I, 
and uh, I was doing a few listings over there. So yeah, Viore Transit Joggers Men's Medium Technical Joggers Stretch Performance V417. It was the um, tag number, the uh, style number, which if you can get these, it's it's really great. It's just very small on there though. Um, $49.99 and $7.99 shipping. And that's a competitive price for these. So very excited about finding Viore. And I found a few other things, but I haven't done the listing, so I'll do them tomorrow. Okay. Yes, our, our fridge has gone out. This fridge, I love this fridge so much. I, have I talked about this fridge? Our fridge at the old house was probably the most poorly designed piece of equipment I've ever seen in my life. And it was not fun living with that fridge. And it wasn't placed against the wall, so you couldn't quite open the freezer door all the way. It was ridiculous and there's no place else to put it. So this fridge is like, I think it's an extra large fridge or something because it fits. I wouldn't say we have extra room, but it fits everything very nicely. And it's got a drawer in the bottom for the freezer, which I really like. Anyways, it started making a crazy sound uh, last week. And uh, you know we were like, ah, it's just a little too much ice. And we played around with it and chipped some ice off because ice was building up. And uh, looking back now, it's like we should have gotten on this right away. But um, anyways, it's not working now. And if you know, you know how that goes. Now we gotta we have a full fridge with you know, hundreds of dollars worth of food in there. And uh, so we're gonna ice and putting it in there. And we did find a guy who's coming tomorrow and hopefully he'll, it won't be a big deal. But you know, you never know. Um, anyway, so dealing with that, so that kind of throws a chink into, uh, clink into things that's really oh um i wanted to talk about a website called who what where it talks about trends and i really like the way it was laid out so if you want to find out the upcoming trends that's one way to do it go to stuff like that um yeah i will do a tour of the house i just don't want to show it to you guys when it uh, you know, the fridge, fr the kitchen is like junk all over the place and everything else. So, well, thank you to all the new subscribers. Um, something is going on, I think, with, you know, me being away so long. It seems like YouTube, now that I'm back, I don't know. I was thinking about it. Okay, I came back into the algorithm. I wonder if, because everybody, a lot of people, I think a lot of you just came to see me. And it was like, went from nothing to a lot of people looking at me. Um, if that somehow triggered YouTube into saying, oh, here's a hot YouTuber. And uh, I mean, come on. <laughs> and because I've gotten a huge boost in, in subscribers. Maybe it's just because I'm back and I didn't have any subscribers because I didn't have anything new. But anyways, it's pretty interesting. So hello, welcome all new subscribers. And uh, if you're new, uh, let me know. Am I coming up in the feed? Or how did you find me? I'm interested. I'm gonna try to build a build a channel. My son is a big uh, SEO guy and he gave me the name of that place, uh, which I should, it's on my phone so I can't find it right now, but maybe tomorrow I'll put it there. <laughs> if I remember. All right, well, How's everybody feeling? There seems to be a lot of flu going around. My neighbors just said they got it. My husband and daughter got the flu. My other daughter and granddaughter actually got, were sick with fevers. Everybody's getting fevers. I'm fine. Um, so that's good. All right. Well, listen, I hope you're all doing well. And I will see you in the next one. Like and subscribe.